in Baltimore. I'm drinking. I already started. I already started. So listen, what's going on, y'all? I know I miss y'all over here. I really did. But hey, listen, I got to work, y'all. I got to work, okay? Listen, everybody want their money, and I got to go get it. So listen, thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. Yes, we are selling out all over the United States of America. So we're on our first baby tour, but it's quickly turning into a major tour because my tour manager just called me and they just added two more cities, okay? We'll talk about that later, all right? But listen, guys, it's happy hour today. You guys have been begging me. I'm doing happy hour. We'll say the celebrity gossip for Friday, all right? However, I will be doing celebrity gossip today on TashaKLive.com right after this show, and we have to talk about the light-skinned women winning! Yes! I'm so excited. Shout out to the light-skinned women. I am excited because I interviewed one yesterday and she was used up. Listen. <laughs> Jazz. Jasmine said, oh. <laughs> shots fired. I did. I did interview a light-skinned girl, and I was shocked that she told me she was 32. I was like, y'all have got to. We, we've got to do better. Okay, we have got to do better. All right? We'll talk about that and more on TashaKLive.com right after this show. But now it's all about us. It's all about us, and I got me a real fan. Prince is really officially dead now, okay? He's not keeping me cool anymore. I got a fan. Now, when am I coming to Houston? Dates will be announced soon, so stay tuned. Trust me, we're going to tell y'all. We're going to let y'all know. Houston going to be a full-on weekend, okay? Thank you so much, Doris. Now, just in case y'all don't know what happy hour is, but most of y'all uh, do, okay? In case you don't, this is all about us, all right? So y'all get to call in and shoot the shits with me, all right? Y'all get to drink with me, sip with me. Um, any and everything but how to start a YouTube channel. How to start a YouTube channel is very easy. You just simply start a Gmail account, upload, and boom, you have a YouTube channel, okay? Now, as far as critiquing YouTube channels and stuff, we will be launching a new, okay, a whole new section for that that is called Stash, all right? And so Stash, you can find that on Facebook. Just reserve your spot on Stash. And when we launch everything on entrepreneurship and leveraging your entrepreneurship or just you as an artist with the internet, that will be all things Stash, okay? So that will be coming soon. So make sure you get into that Facebook group because once we launch, we're going to close it down and it's going to be locked forever, all right? Now... If you guys want to call in, please. Jasmine, this is what I, I want to do. Because I want to see the winos' faces. You know, I don't like that. I mean, I can hear their voice, but I really want to see their face. But if they don't want to show their face, I do understand. Once they start talking for like 30 seconds to a minute, then we can unveil their face if they want. If not, we'll keep them as audio only so it'll be a call-in show. Okay? We can do that? All right. Yes, Brandy, I am coming to Cleveland. Cleveland is on the website, Tasha K. La, uh, I'm sorry, Tasha K. On stage.com. If you want to see the Wine Gossip and Comedy Show live in person, Tasha K. On stage.com. It's so funny when, I, when people ask, what is she doing at these shows? <laughs> what is she doing at these shows? Well, you got to book a ticket and find out. You really do got to book a ticket to find out. But you saw Baltimore in the building. Jay, Jasmine, show, show them what Baltimore did just in case they missed the thing. chills even watching that video i'm like i'm just like oh my god i said y'all y'all was really trying to show off for atlanta y'all saw what atlanta did and baltimore said all oh, hell to the now 
All hail to the now, now, now. But we're going to see what Pleasanton, California do this weekend. I heard y'all a little bougie, but we're going to see if y'all know how to get a little ratchet, okay? Because you know I'm a Florida girl, born and raised on the south, in the south. But coming to the west coast, I ain't never, ever too ratchet to come, okay? I can get bougie if I need to with the white folks. Or I can get ratchet with the black and the Latinas if I need to. All right, y'all. Yeah, so listen, don't forget, guys. Check the website, TashKOnStage.com. Book your ticket. We got a few tickets left for Pleasanton. I did tell them to add a second show. I said, but launch it tomorrow. Give me some time to change my mind. We'll see. I don't know. But I know for sure they're probably going to end up adding a second show anyway, okay? So just if you are afraid that you're not going to get a ticket, you can wait, okay? Because we are going to launch a second show for Pleasanton. But get the ones that we have left just in case I do change my mind. Now, let's go ahead and get into um, uh, the happy hour. Let me stop talking and black babbling and things like that. Let me go ahead and pour my wine, okay? We already got people waiting backstage. So make sure, guys, y'all wait backstage, all right? And just be patient. I can see you. All right, I can see you down. I, I, see you, I see you waving and stuff like that. Hit the link. It's first come, first serve. I'm going to pull my wine, and I'm going to go ahead and read the first question that done came in, because, you know, we start off by reading first. And if you want your question read, I'm a little rusty, y'all. So y'all got to bear with me, okay? It's been a minute. since It's been since February since I did happy hour, okay? Now, if you want your question read, all right, please email me at unwindwithtashk at gmail.com. It comes right to my phone right now okay now all right let me go ahead and pull this up now everybody want to email right now right now make sure y'all like share this video of course jasmine i cannot open this bottle because i got too much oil on my hands look too much oil <sighs> thank you jazzy Fay. thank you okay all right let me go ahead and pull up these questions now this is from a wino that says she wants to be kept anonymous all right of course, we do respect that, so make sure if you want to be kept anonymous, you don't want your name mentioned at all, if you want your first name, or hell, you just don't give a damn at all, all right? We got you. Now, first question is, hi, Tasha, my name is Bianca. Hi, Bianca. I ain't even started drinking. She just said anonymous. Literally in the title, she said anonymous. Okay. I'm 26 years old, and I'm from Miami, okay? She wants to stay anonymous. I am lost on what to do at the moment. I live with my baby father. He is 29 years old. We've been together for five years. We have two children together, a girl that's one and a boy that's six months old. Okay. And hold on, hold on, hold on. From my first baby father who is deceased. Okay. So she has two children, a girl, that's one years old and a boy that's six months old. And she has, oh, so three kids and one son from the first baby father. Our relationship hasn't been right for two years now. He doesn't speak to me while he is home and he avoids me when we run into each other in the house. He starts being nice to me when he wants something then goes back to treating me like a brick wall. Now remember, Winos, we need y'all to help answer these questions because I don't always get it right. Okay, yes, I'm drinking today. Yes, I'm drinking. Uh, I've been drinking. I've been drinking. All right. Now, she goes, I am depressed and hurting because he clearly does not care about me, and it's miserable being in the home. I feel very rejected. Our lease is up at the end of the year, and I'm considering moving into my own space. I want us to be a family, and I love him, but I can't force him to do things he don't want to do. I don't want to stay stuck in a situation knowing that it's a dead end. What should I do? Okay. Now, thank you so much for writing in. Thank you for trusting me. We Salty is already like, dump him. Baby, she got three kids. Uh, look at me with all these hands. She got three kids. Okay. You just can't walk. Y'all know how hard it is to just walk away with three children. Okay. Now, if she does decide to walk away, which I would advise her to do, I would say at the end of the year is a good plan because that gives her one full year to save her money as three children and put his ass on child support while he even still living in the house. That's exactly what I would do. Absolutely. Okay. Now, um, for tw I, I do want to, in his defense, I have to talk about this. In his defense, three kids. 
She 26, he 29. The cost of living in Miami is not even reasonable. Like it's so high, I was seeing a video today and the video said something like, the cost of living is so high that they're starting to roommate out bedrooms just so people can afford to live in Miami. So if they have three children, he's 29, she's 26, he's only nice when he wants something, I would, I'm gonna be honest with you, he's about to hit 30, he's probably depressed. Somebody said, looking into getting assistant living expense. Absolutely, yes. It's, it's, it's insane. For a family like this, they need to be living in Gainesville, maybe somewhere outside of Tampa. West Palm Beach, like Lakeland, Florida is affordable, but Miami is too crazy. And besides, I wouldn't even want to raise no children in Miami anyway, okay? But I don't know. I, I'm going to have to... You, <sighs> I mean, nobody can make you happy but you. Like, there's nothing she can do to make him happy. So if he's at home and he's not talking to nobody, he's not speaking to nobody, he's, you know, just in his own head, I'm, I'm going to have to say he's depressed. <sighs> that's that's, that's kind of hard, especially when you got three children that's kind of looking at that situation. And she's saying that she feels rejected. I'm going to say, yeah, um... At this point, it's about you and your children and what makes you happy. And I don't think it's right for a child to have to watch a parent being unhappy. I had to go through that. I went through, because I ended up moving in with, back in with my mama when I was six, maybe seven. It was right after I was molested by my uncle. And when I moved in with her, I'm not going to say, because as a child, like when you raised by your grandparents and stuff, you don't, you don't really care who raised you unless, like, I can see if it was, like, a bad situation, you know, coming up. I mean, yes, I had that unfortunate situation with my uncle, but living with my grandma and stuff was amazing. Like, I had a great childhood besides that one incident. But when I moved in with my mama, I think my mama was just too young to have three children. And then my dad, you know, who I consider my dad, even though he's not my real dad, he's my sad daddy. I told y'all I got four damn fathers around here, Okay. Um, for her to be, to have three children by the age of 21, that was a lot on my mama. My mama went through some deep, like she went through a deep depression. And for me as a child, I wish that she would have just left me with my grandmother, but I understand why she didn't because she felt like my grandma got too old to take care of me. And that's why it happened with my uncle, but that wasn't the case. Nobody should have to watch their children around their family, but unfortunately we do. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to say she may need to uproot herself and them kids from that situation. Move somewhere that you can definitely afford. I wouldn't want to raise my children nowhere near around Miami, especially with all the half-naked holes and stuff and pimps. And this is the number one sex trafficking city in the world. Yeah, and make, and make you happy. And if he decides to get some help, because I think this would be a wake-up call for him, I think, honestly, um... Yeah, take it from there. Take it from there. If he come back and he done got his shit together and you ain't found no cheating or nothing like that, yeah, take him back because everybody has their moments. And I, I'm going to be honest with you, with as high as rent and the cost of living is in Miami and three children, I would be depressed too. I sure would, okay? All right, moving on. Remember, guys, if you want your question read, email me on wamatoshk at gmail.com. Remember, the call-in line is open. The stream yard is being shared. I believe Jasmine is dropping it. Moderators, if you could drop the stream yard link on Facebook as well as uh, YouTube so people can call in. Remember, it's first come, first serve. You do not have to show your face. It can be your voice only, okay? So um, just let us know. You say you have a shooting here in Miami. It's hor every weekend. It's horrible. It's horrible, okay? Now, we got one more question that we're gonna read and then I'm gonna start taking video callers, okay? So remember the link is in the chat. Now, hold on for a second. This one, um, I don't know. I'm gonna wait to read that one. I gotta wake up a little bit. All right, so this is from, they do not want to be anonymous. This is from Darnell, okay? And Darnell said, good evening, Miss Tasha. Thank you for everything that you are and that you do. Well, thank you, okay? My question is, I'm single, and I'm trying to mingle. 
And I've been chatting with women on dating apps to no availability because eventually they end the conversation, but I'm not sure why. I don't know what the hell he just wrote there, but I guess I got the point. They end the conversation anytime he's chatting, all right? Um, That's exactly what he said, right, Jasmine? Okay, cool. All right, so I always make the first move. I keep the conversation going. I never mention their looks or their body, and I focus on their interests. The sites I use require a mutual interest for us to talk so they like something. But I, but it always ends with nothing. I'm 34 years old. I'm a black man and recently spoke with a 48-year-old black woman who couldn't carry a conversation. Somebody already said Donnell too broke. I'm not going to do this with y'all today. Listen. Mm-mm-mm. Nah. Um... And that was a lot. So he's 34, and he's talking to a 50-year-old woman who can't, conver- who can't carry a conversation, and instead she wanted to gossip about other men in her inbox. Am I doing something wrong, or are the women I'm coming across bored or possibly looking for something I'm not offering? Hope I didn't write too much, LOL, much love, okay? I gotta see what y'all wanna, what y'all saying. You, you said they are for sale, Donnell. You wasting your time. A catfish says farty. Who else? What, what did y'all say? Hold on for a second. Hold on. Low IQ sugar mama. Uh, ever seen snapped. Get off that disability chick. Here's my thing, Donnell. Forty. You're 34 and you're entertaining women in their 50s and you're on a dating app. Most 34-year-old men are 24-year-old men. So I'm trying to figure out why, what is it about you that you feel, why is it that you feel that you need to get on a dating app to date at 34 years old? That's usually for people who are divorced, antisocial, haven't been on the dating scene in forever. You still damn near a baby. You just left childhood. When you reach 30, that's when you are an adult. Anything before that, you a child. And, and, and Lord forbid you got children and everything because they watching you grow up too. Darnell, I, something you ain't, I, I could probably see why they, why they leaving. A 48-year-old, 34, you said she wanted to gossip about other men in her inbox. I mean, that's what 50-year-old women going to do. Bitch, I still got it. I sure would, and I would see if you're jealous. You should be able to have a conversation with somebody that you just met, and y'all should be able to talk as friends. Why are you irritated about her talking about the other men in her inbox? Hey, hey you got to level up. You got to, you said my he ugly. You said tell him to call in. I know, Darnell, listen, I know you're watching the show. Call in. I want to see what you look like, and then we can further assess the situation as to why these older women who are on dating apps looking for men to keep As Jasmine said, curving your ass, okay? So, uh, somebody said he's a Libra. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Donnell, come on in. Call on in. Remember, guys, y'all can write in unwindwithtoshk at gmail.com, okay? All right, we're going to start taking call-ins now. All right, the link is uh, in the chat. Y'all can hit the link, call in, and I'm going to give you my honest advice, all right? Uh, Rowie, how you doing, Rowie? I am doing very good, Tasha. Okay. Oh, haven't I talked to him before? And you've never talked to me. This is the first time. Okay, cool. You can bring him up. <laughs> All right, we can bring you up. I just wanted to make sure you want no troll or nothing like that, Roy. What's no, going no. on? Remember, guys, if you want to call in, get in line, okay? Well, All right, the link is in the chat. What's going on, Roy? What's your question? Where you, uh, hey, where are you calling from? I'm actually calling from the Netherlands. The Netherlands? Yes. That's why I yes. thought I spoke to you before, because I got a few guys that be calling me from the Netherlands on the show. <laughs> well, this okay. is the first time I'm calling in, so. So what's your question? Okay, so my question is um, um, my best friend, who I've had for, I think, 15 years, she's involved uh, with this guy, which is like a crusty-ass crackhead. Okay. I see her changing, and it scares me because... You know, I love her when she's single. You know, I'm also single, but I also love her when she meets a guy. But the guy okay. that she's meeting and dealing right now, I have this feeling it's gonna blow up, it's gonna go wrong. How do I approach the situation without losing her? 
Okay, you said she changing. Changing how? She smoking that shit too? She, well, she's not smoking the crack, but I just see her doing more substances. So not only More stuff weekend, like what? Like cocaine, what? ecstasy. That, that's what I just mm -hmm. asked you, Rowie. Well, I mean, Damn. you know, crack, crack is different. You know, crack, crack is and that. cocaine, same shit, bro. Okay, 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 yes, okay. Is she, is she using, she... She smoke, she's she, using shit. On the regular. Okay. On the regular. Okay. Right and so she's changing because obviously the guy that she met introduced her to that? Or was mm -hmm. she already well, using before? She was already using before, you know, but it was more like recreational, like, uh, you know, at parties every now and then. Did y'all use it together sometimes? Uh, Did you? Of course. You know, the Netherlands are a little bit different than, you know, America. I got to okay. be honest. <laughs> We're a little bit more like chill. When okay. it comes to right, like I, I appreciate your honesty, Roey. I really do. I really do. I got it. Yeah, I got to okay. be honest. But this is not normal. This is like, what, five times uh, in a week, maybe. Uh, which is like unheard Five times of. in a week. Instead, of, it yeah. went from social to now yeah. five times a week. Yeah. And so she's no longer with you, and now she's with him. And... She is with him. Uh, and I've noticed also in uh, the social settings, uh, in the bar life, I, you know, I work as a bartender, so I hear Okay. That she's going to different parties right now, hanging around with different crowds. I'm worried. Okay. So you ever heard of gateway usage? Like, you know, social drug mm -hmm. use could turn into full-time drug use? Yes, yes. Because you're doing happening. it when you have a good time? Mm hmm And mm -hmm. so you associate a good time with doing drugs. And so when you go through bad times... You revert mm -hmm. back to the good times and she could remember the feeling that the drugs gave her. And so now you don't want to do that full time. She has someone who aids and abeds in that and they're together doing it. She gone, yeah. Roy. That ain't your, she ain't your friend no more, baby. Only thing that's going to help is, is rehab. Oh, I was afraid of that, that you were saying that. I already mm -hmm. have that gut feeling because I'm going in a different road, different direction in life. How old are you? Um, right now I'm 39, and she's already 45. Yeah, she's already there. So, damn, she's going to be hitting menopause here in, like, five years, and she, mm. yeah, baby, like, she gone. Especially if she that age, do it, like, mm -hmm. she gone. And you you saying, like, listen, I'm trying to grow up. I'm mm -hmm. putting that behind me. I want to take life serious. To be honest with you, some people you're just going to have to leave behind. I had to do it. Mm -hmm. I never mm -hmm. did dope. Nah, now let me get that straight. <laughs> but I had friends. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bump. Yeah. And I had to bump their ass out the way because I'm like, well, you about 42 now. When you going to stop? I'm the baby in the group. When are you going? And then they problems, they solved their problems with drinking and, and, and doing coke and, and smoking mm -hmm. weed and all types of things instead of really wanting to focus on what the real issue is. So they use that stuff in order to like, you know, not not having to, to look at themselves in the mirror and shit like that. And so, I, Roy, I'm gonna be honest with you, she gone and this may be the best thing for you because if she was probably still around, you would probably be still doing that. Well, thank you. Thank you for your honesty. No that problem. Thank How's you the weather so out there in the Netherlands right now? Well, I gotta tell you, it, it sucks beyond. It's raining, then it's a little bit of sunshine, then the snow starts. It's weird. Oh. The Netherlands is weird. So know, we are just waiting weird. for next month's festival season is coming up, popping up. Okay. Yeah, maybe not so much coke and uh, the rest of the drugs because I gotta bump the asses out my life. <laughs> okay, okay. You may but, need to move. I mean, if your your circle still snorting coke, they still skiing. Well, the, the most of uh, my circle is not using Coke anymore. Because I already what bought using? a couple of them. Uh, maybe a little bit of weed. Okay. And wine. Okay. All right, yeah. You, it may be time for you to change your friend because it's going to be hard, you know? Mm -hmm. Like my mm -hmm. friends now, all they do is drink wine. That's all we do, drink wine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's why I love your channel from the, <laughs> from the moment you started. <laughs> Thank you so much, Roy. Thank you, thank you. And we're gonna we're gonna put the we're gonna uh we're gonna tour over there in the UK and Netherlands and stuff like that. So we yes, got... I cannot wait. I cannot yes, wait. I'll be fun, bro. Me too. Don't forget, yes. now, stay on the website, TashaKOnStage.com, because we'll be announcing them overseas tickets here in a couple months too. So stay tuned. You going thank to Gag City? No, no, no. Damn. 
I know, I know. <laughs> she coming. Okay, Roy. Right. Thank you so much, okay? And good luck. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, but you. you can pray for her now, but you I just will. stay straight. Don't look back. Keep going forward. I will. I will. Okay. Thank you. All right, Roy. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye, ciao. All right. Remember, the link is in the chat. Guys, call in. Do not. No, ma'am. Jay, how you doing? Hi, Jay. Joy. Oh, hey. Hey, Cassie. How you doing? I'm good, Joy. How are you? Fine. I, I, I just tuned in. What is is it a certain topic y'all talking about? We're just doing happy hours. So did you have a question? Like people call in and they ask questions about what's going on. And I give, you know, they, they you know, I give them advice and stuff. Oh, okay. I'm nasty, Jasmine. Well, it's a question. It's a, I got a question. I, I got a I don't know. I just got a question. Uh, a crush here. on Thug. Oh, I got no, a crush on Thug. No celebrity gossip. We only talking about what no, you not gossip. But I got a crush. What you got? Okay. Well, what I'm with going on? I'm just recovering from being carjacked. I was carjacked in, in September at CBS on Moreland. Where you stay? No, I, no, I'm in Atlanta. It's Atlanta. Oh, okay. Dang. Yeah, I'm more, I'm more than, I'm more than okay. the CBS, and I was carjacked, and uh, I'm, I'm just scared of society. I'm scared to go because it was a bad shootout yesterday at at uh, Sucker K at Camarol, a bad shootout, and it's like everywhere you go, I mean you can't go nowhere without getting shot. I mean. I mean, what is going on, Tasha? What's going on out here? I mean, what's I think wrong? It's the neighbor. It may be the neighborhood. Mm. Moreland Campbell Road, Campbellton Road, Candler Road. Oh, Candler Road. Candler Road. Yeah, yeah, that's the hood. That's the that's the hood. That's what they do over there. Oh my! <laughs> I know. It's awful. I know. There's nothing we can do. You got to let your local politicians handle that. Yeah, it's, it's awful. It's bad. Can you move? Yeah, I'm finna move. I'm finna buy me an RV. I'm finna buy me an RV so I can be mobile. Uh, I, 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 uh, uh, I, I'm finna go to Missouri and get my RV and so I can live out of it. Cause I, I want to be mobile. I, I want to move in the rural and and, and the, come in the city I when you I get ready. Want to be in the damn country away from all them crazy ass folks? Yes. Okay, but I, but I, I just, I just, I just want to live in the RV because I don't want to be stationary. You know, I, I want to be here. I want to be. I can be move here. I can go to another state or, or whatever. You see, I just, I, I, like I just that don't idea. Wanna... I like that. I like that idea better. And you will dodge way so many yeah. bullets. Yeah, like and, and get to nobody and it's, shooting at you or nothing. And it's like. You know, when you date guys and you want to put a man down, they want to stalk you. That way a man can't stalk you. Because you can crank the cops, crank your RV up, and get the hell on. That's right. So that's where I don't think going to be holding you back. So yeah, I, 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 I'm scared of people. I, I'm really scared of people. People is crazy. I know. Especially out there on Candle Road. I know. I know. <laughs> But but, I, I call, else, Joy? but 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 I tell you, I, I love you, Tasha. I, I, I like your I, I like your style. Just hang on in there, and you know you can get out of this. And and like I said, if I won the lottery, I I I pay the whole lawsuit. I I like it. I don't Thank, care. I, I appreciate it, Miss Joy. But God got it. Thank you, baby. Yeah, he got. Oh yeah, all right. He sure do. I love you. Brother. I love. Okay. All right. Bye bye. I'm be reading, I'm gonna be reading some questions here in a minute, y'all. Uh, write in on whywithoutscaregmail.com or you can call in. Okay, come on up here, uh, Jamichael. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? I'm good. You can bring him up because he ain't no troll. We have to monitor the trolls around here, Jamichael. Where you That's calling from? You sleep? Man, I'm in the house chilling. I got out of work. I'm laid back. I'm okay. watching you. On, I'm watching oh. you on the internet. Oh well, thank you. I appreciate it. What's going on? What's your question? Where you calling from? First of all. Calling from Atlanta, George. I just want to call. I ain't got no question in particular. I just want to let you know that I like your work. 
and you're very, you. you're, you're a very beautiful individual. You down Thank to you. earth, you real. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep pushing. Don't let nobody hold you back. I ain't gonna do that. Thank you so much. I see the love, the love thing you said, giving you your flowers. I love it. Hey, God bless. Peace. God bless you. Thank you so much, Jermichael. All right now. All right. Bye bye. All right, Adrian. Adrian, where you calling from? I'm calling from Minneapolis, St. Twin Cities area. Okay. All right. Shout out to Minneapolis. <laughs> it's still cold out there. Uh, yeah, it's still cold out here. Okay. Actually. What's your question? Um, right. So I'm, I, I'm re I recently graduated from, from college, from, uh, um, HBCU. I'm a Congratulations. Yes. Right. <laughs> Hold right. up. Hold up. Yes. Now please tell me you ain't got no psychology or sociology. Today. No electrical engineering. Oh, great. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yes. All right. Yes. Now what's your question? Right. So I've been struggling, like, not with the job. It's just, this is my first job after graduating. And I'm just been like, I have so much anxiety built up. I've been stressing over things like, I tend to make a lot of mistakes here and there. I understand that it's a, it's a learning process. It's a learning curve, but I don't know. It's just, I'm, am I thinking too much about it or do I need to have like a therapist or something? My my um my employer or my um the company I work for is a very good company. They're okay. very the my colleagues are very nice and helpful, but it just seems like I just I don't know. How old are you, Adrian? I'm twenty seven. Okay, so you're fairly young in your career. This is exactly what you want to do? Yes, but okay. I still, I you know, you never know. Years later, I might, you know, do something else, but. I got you. I got you. Now, um, is this more like social anxiety that's going on? Like, is it? It's work anxiety. Okay. So outside of work, you do fine. It's just when you're right. at work. Right. Okay. Is it, is it because it's competitive? You feel no, like it's competitive or it's not that I'm I feel like I'm just so conditioned to being in school and mm. getting outside of school, going into industry and being around people that has so much experience than I than I do and kind of playing this comparison game like I'm not to where they are at or I need to work harder or need to kind of, you know, spend a lot more time working. So, okay. Well, here's the thing. Yes. Um, does your job offer, it sounds like they, they could possibly pay for some therapy for you. Right. They do. Okay. I have actually, I have used some of that resource already. So good, good. And don't, don't let them, I, I don't, you know, I'm kind of medication only if you need it, you know what I'm saying? So don't be quick to jump on it. Now, if you're having anxiety attacks to the point where it's causing physical symptoms, like, you know, your heart beating fast or, you know, your cortisol levels and you're sweating going up, then I would advise that you probably take the, the you know, anxiety medication that they may prescribe. But for the most part, I think you're on the right track. And I think for you to be 27 years old and you're graduated and, um, you know, you're working already in your field. You're already doing great. Now, you're just going to have to realize that you can't rush experience. Right. You have to live in order to gain experience. And so the fact that the company saw that you were mature enough, you were educated enough, and you were qualified enough to give you a position, instead of trying to look at your colleagues as, man, I should be where they are, why don't you embrace where they are, soak in as much information as you can, become friends with them so that you can learn more and then you'll end up performing better. To, right. But I'm going to be honest with you. If you're anything like me, like I'm always critiquing myself, overthinking, trying to perfect things, thinking I should be here, 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 here. But instead, I'm here, but it just has a lot to do with my ambition and my drive, which is good intentions. Like, you have good intentions. You want to know more. You want to do more. And so I would just say, 
in your spare time when you start to overthink like when you're at home because it probably happens more so at home when you get home and you start to like really go through those thoughts and be like damn i should be here or i should be doing this or is that when it usually takes place right it takes place during work at home sometimes but mainly okay. at work so when you're at home you need to find um i don't know anything related to art whether it's writing whether it's drawing it could be a hobby. I don't give a damn if it's fishing. You need to find something to do, listening to music that will take your mind off of your mind, always overthinking. And meditation works. Right. It, it works. I know. Um, I also want to kind of bring something else up. What's up? Um, I think it's dealing with imposter syndrome, too. I don't know mm -hmm. if you've heard that term before. I have. It's been a while, though. Is that what your therapist told you? Right. Uh, my um, professional coach told me that um, he kind of saw some kind of some symptoms of imposter syndrome. So. OK, so then if it's. I hate when they, they come up with all these terms, syndromes and things, and it makes you feel like you can't change them. Right now, you're very young. You're in a highly competitive market. You have a lot of pressure on you. You have to find an outlet to deal with that stress. Right. It's stress. So they can, you know, I can say, oh, Tasha, you have anxiety. I only have anxiety when I'm anxious. I'm not anxious all the time. You're not always overthinking all the time, are you? No. Okay. So if I were you, you have to stay with the therapy. Like I said, if it's anxiety, please, you know, get something to manage your anxiety. There's nothing wrong with that. And um, if you can, because you are an engineer, so you're very technical, you're very detailed, try to figure out, like, the brain, the brain is so sensitive. Like, it learns whatever you put in front of it. Like, I, I hate using this as an example but I have to. It's kind of like when you listen to a song on the radio and you hate it. But researchers have known for years that if they continue to feed your brain the song, the same way they continue to feed you certain things when you're younger and educate you on certain things and then it becomes natural to you, the brain is a sponge in real life. It will just take it in. So you just have to find things that calm you, that make you feel important, that make you feel successful, and you just have to rewire your brain. Right, right. That that's that's a good point. Because, you know, I'm conditioned to learn one way, but I have to right. kinda train my brain to think a other way and kind of, you know, when anxiety hits, I need to kind of retrain the brain to kind of, you know, trying to pivot away what's causing the anxiety and kind of focus on what what is the issue at hand and trying to resolve it instead of like no you just you just take your mind off of it i'll be honest with you my mom gave me some of the best advice when it came to anxiety when i have anxiety what i have to do is just point to the things that are real because anxiety is just made up thoughts and perceptions and fears and things that are not even real so what i do is i sit in the moment and I say, this is a tree. I'm at a park. This is my husband. This is my baby. I'm healthy. I have a job. I have this. I'm telling you, it works. It's just bringing your mind back down to reality. And you're on the right track, I swear. You're 27. You're so young. You're going to learn so much more. And one day, this will be a thing of the past. So I wouldn't overthink, but I would highly recommend, like I said, the therapy, definitely getting you some anxiety medication because that will work. It will work. And you don't need it all the time. Just when you go through those moments, find you an art therapy that you can do. I mean, how much art do you participate in? Um, I'm not really into art. I actually, uh, in my spare time, I work out or I do like martial arts or I okay. do some other so things. So you, you have to you have to open that part of your brain to art, whether it's writing, whether it's drawing. 
you can go down to CVS and get you a color coloring book with some color with some crayons and color. Like that that's as simple as taking your mind off of what's going on and coloring. It's very therapeutic. Try it. And when you okay. do, I want you to call me back and let me know how you felt. Okay. Anytime you get anxious, get you a coloring book with some crayons, color, and I guarantee your mind is going to start to create different ideas. You may even want to start, you may even start coloring and figure out that you want to start your own business. I'm telling you, like, art is how you free the mind from worry. Okay, you got this, nice. Adrian. You got nice. this. You're young. You got nice. this. Okay. All well, right. Call me Th back. I will. Thank you so okay. much. No problem. No problem. All right, guys. Let me read some questions real quick. I do see a lot of you guys waiting. I'm gonna get right to you, so just be patient. I think B Big Al is up next. Cami, uh, Sasuki, and Tay. Who else do we got? Jasmine, um, Amy. Yep. And Sasuki, you in here twice, so you need to back out one time okay so remember guys this is happy hour i know a lot of people are expecting celebrity gossip we'll do that on tashaklive.com right after this show okay and so right now i'm just spending time with y'all we're drinking we sipping and we're doing some therapy that's what we're doing what did y'all think of adrian's situation though jasmine spread the uh because i gotta see their comments real quick let me see. You will see there's some creepy alligator. What the hell y'all talking about? Adult coloring books are pretty dope. So are word search games. Yes, puzzles. Absolutely. Adrian, I hope that you're reading all these, uh, these, um, this feedback, too, from the chat. I really, really do, okay? Stay out of the medical lane before you get sued. It's illegal. What the f t what? Well, why don't you stay out of the chat if you don't know what the hell going on? But I like you being here. It's all good. Uh, Tasha drinking like Megan Thee Stallion. Okay, you are so right. I purposely go outside, make sure I get sunshine. He works from home, and he's getting depressed. This is very real, okay? Coloring words, search games. Yeah, I'm telling you, art opens up the brain. It gives you new ideas, a fresh perspective. It gives you the reality on things and the possibilities without all these worries and false perceptions and things that the world tries to put into your head. It puts you into that moment and it gives you reassurance on, you know, what, what, what's to come, what's possible. I'm telling you, some of my biggest ideas come in when I'm just scribbling. You ever find yourself scribbling, drawing while talking? Yeah, that's because your brain wants to be creative. It needs to search. So, okay. All right, let me, uh, yeah, let me read a question. Look at me, I'm already a little tipsy and shit. I hope y'all enjoying the show. Don't forget, we're gonna be in Pleasanton, California this weekend, okay? We got a few tickets left and we're gonna be adding a second show. Get your tickets, they're on sale right now, TashaKOnStage.com, TashaKOnStage.com, all right? It's wine, gossip, and comedy, all right? Mm. And I don't give no boring ass shows. That's a lot. I know y'all wondering, like, what's going on? Gotta be on TashaKLive.com to figure that out. All right, so who's next? Let me see. Oh, ooh, y'all, damn, this is deep. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, so, all right, that is not. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, guys, and this is a good question, too. Somebody is telling me that the resellers are reselling my tickets for New York for 103. Uh, no, please go to TashaKOnStage.com and buy your tickets. If you don't, if you buy your tickets anywhere else besides at the venue or on the venue's website, like we're going to be at City Winery in New York or Tommy T's in, in uh, Pleasanton, California, you either buy it from the venue or you buy it from my website because my website takes you right to the venue. You buy it outside of that venue, that is out of my hands, okay? I can't, I cannot control whether or not you're going to get the tickets where they coming from or anything. All I could tell you is just go to my website, get the tickets. You will not be scammed there, okay? Now, Tasha, you're going to be live and start on time today. I'm on, I'm live right now. What are you talking about? Damn. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, Let me see. Let me see. Let me read these questions. All right. They trapping out ninjas. They out trapping ninjas. I had a female say she made a baby 
She she made me a baby daddy, which was hard because I seen the red flags. I decided to give her a chance, but when she called the police, no one I took her from her mother house. She 27, a three-year-old daughter, and now mine's she eight months, and I love my child, but this woman is out here doing something strange for some change, and I'm not having it one bit. We're not doing that. We're not doing it. I'm sorry. What was the question? What was the question? Okay. All right. So this is another question. My friend is dating a married man. I love her, but I don't want... I don't, I don't say what I really feel to her about her man. I just listen, mostly. She feels she is wasting so many years of her life. So far, I think it's like eight years. But lately, he talks more like he will go with her one day and leave his wife. But he never really makes a move. He just talks about it. But Tasha, girl, he is over there a lot, a whole lot. Like he lives there. Just don't sleep there. So much so, I wonder how his wife don't know, LOL. How long do I not say anything? Or should I say how I feel and risk pissing her off? Thanks, Anonymous. You are a bad, fucked up friend. I wouldn't want you as a friend. I'm gonna be honest with you. You let your friend go eight years. Eight years. And she's still talking to you about him leaving. Year one, year two. Year three, year four, year five, year six, year seven, year eight, and you on the Tasha K show asking me if you should tell your friend that she being played. Baby girl, um... I were her. <laughs> Hold on for a second. I gotta, I gotta see what y'all are talking about. Seriously. Yes, the wife knows. Of course. The wife don't want him. The wife don't want his ass at all. But I'm gonna be honest with you. Is, is this what y'all call friends these days? Huh? Is this what y'all call friends? I just want to know, have the rules changed? Jasmine, have the rules changed? They have changed? I can't wait to see you, Erica, too, in Philadelphia. Get them tickets, SashaKOnStage.com. Is this, she ain't, I'm just, you making it sound like your friend is the bad one. You're the worst type. You're the, you're, you are what they call an enabler. The fact that you sat up and you are still with this friend and you are afraid to piss her off, but she laying up with somebody's husband and thinks that he is going to leave her, lead a, lead a wife, be faithful to her. And she, babe, it don't work like that. You don't, you don't get to fuck up a marriage and then he come over and then it's all good with you. It don't work like that. God don't even work like that. I'm just trying to figure out, like, You said, but Tasha, he is over there a lot, like a whole lot. Should I say how I feel and risk pissing her off? <sighs> Let me move on. Let me move on. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't know what you want me to say. I mean, you want to, if you want me to tell her, I'll tell her. I, I will. That's what you probably, should. Tasha, I'm too scared to tell my friend, can you tell her? Because I, I just, you know you need to say something. You should have been said something. Matter of fact, you should have said, if you don't stop fucking on this married man, I'm going to stop fucking with you. I'm sure she would have said, go about your business. But still, it, where are the fucking morals? Like, where are the morals? She must not be married. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, new wino, okay, new wino alert. Hey, remember, write in online with at gmail.com. I see y'all backstage. Big Al, Cammy, Trey, y'all all up next. Stay there, I'm coming, okay? Now, hey, Tasha, 
Sip some wine for mama. Back in 2019, my cousin always treated me weirdly. She used to be around me 24-7. Well, one day my wallet came up missing and she blamed my boyfriend at the time. I let it slide and I paid it no mind. I have it happened again, and we fell out to the point where our moms just told us to leave each other alone. Damn, how old are y'all? And your mama got to tell you, stop, stop hitting her. Okay, back in 2023, my birthday came around, and I decided since it had been so long, maybe I could try and make things up. Since she is my cousin, we go on, we go about four months, and everything is good until one night she drinks and I smoke. And I'm very, I'm, and I'm a very observant person. She asked me to drive her to pick up one of her friends, and I did that. Everything was fine. I was about to leave her house the next morning. Tasha, this bitch tried to say I stole her car key. She sound like Chantel Freeman. Y'all know that little girl I interviewed and her whole family? The grandma took a pussy, the daddy took a pussy, the brother took a pussy. Damn. Okay, now everything was fine. Until I was about to leave her house the next morning. Okay, she got a 2013 Lexus. I got a 2016 Hyundai Sonata. What I need her car for. Went on Facebook Live and started spreading lies. Two weeks ago, her birthday goes by, and her sister hits me up uh, to go to her kickback. But it gave me setup vibes. What should I do, and why do I feel like she is acting like this? Baby, got family at this point, so this sounds like it's a regular thing. So I like the four months on and the four months off. So right now, y'all are off for four months, okay? And y'all will reunite back at the family cookout. It's just blatant your cousin crazy, okay? And we all have them. All right, who next? Big Al, come on up in here. Big Al, where you calling from? Can you hear me, Tasha? Yeah, I can hear you. Where you calling from? I'm calling from South Carolina. Shout out to South Carolina, okay. Now, what's your question? All right, um... I'm not going to take up too much of your time. So You good? You good? What's up? So I had a long story short, I have a daddy who didn't do right by us, <laughs> my mom, nor his kids, me and my siblings either. Um, as of recently, oh, give you some context. He chose the street life and drug life over family and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. He's what you call, he's in our lives, but mentally checked out. You know, you couldn't depend on him for nothing. That's that person that, you would send them a text just in case they might come through every blue moon, but you wouldn't bet your bottom dollar if they come through. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So this year, dad has a serious medical scare, literally second chance at life. Um, he has to change his whole lifestyle now. Mother, she's always a ride or die, even though I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand what, but she's mm -hmm. still a ride or, job, ride or die. and look like she's committed to taking care of him. Now, you know when they say your silence speaks loud. So me okay. and my brother's absence and our silence from dealing with this, we've just been completely removed from that. From that, um, Just to give you some context, even with him having this health scare, he's still involved in being messy. He had an outside woman want to bring him home from the hospital, take him to his appointments, just very much shit like that, nasty shit like that. So... It's getting to my brother, and I'm very much of the attitude. I'm cut from the cloth of I don't give a fuck. Nay, none of them pay any of my bills on mm -hmm. daddy's side of the family. But I think it's starting to overwhelm my younger sibling. Because now we're starting to get the, the guilt trip calls. You know how black people are when somebody's sick. They need 24-hour round-the-clock care. Somebody got to always be there with them. This, this, and this, and this. You know me, I tell them, all right, well, he told me get it how we live, you know? That, that's pretty much how, how it was with our relationship. We kept it cordial throughout these throughout these years out of respect okay. for my mom, but that's as deep as our relationship goes. So my question is, how do I help my younger sibling, you know, in a sense, try to try to express that, try to express their boundary because they're young, early 20s. I'm trying to teach them it's OK. You can be cool with certain people. Some people good for you. Some people not. You can love everybody, but it's okay to have your um, boundaries set. How do I help him express that? Because I see that the family's guilt trip is starting to get to him. And he's starting to get overwhelmed. And you, I'm, I'm of the faith. Somebody pissed him off. And I cuss all their asses out. I go to war with every damn body. And I'm trying to stay on the level-headed path, but let let everybody know he wasn't there for us. So we don't we don't feel that obligation to run and take care from him for him to talk shit to our face. And if he gets better just be ungrateful about it. You know, I don't I don't want that pain for me and my brother. I, I, 
Big Al, uh, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Mid-20s. Okay. You're very young. And your daddy could die any day? Mm-hmm. I'm going to be honest with you. I think you need to spend this time with your daddy. Because if you don't, when you hit your 30s and 40s, you're going to be like, damn. Even though my daddy was fucked up and the streets took him. Because, I mean, once, once drugs take you, that that that's the strongest spirit besides family. Like you have to understand. Like and it he wasn't on drugs, but he was the pharmaceutical. If you get what I mean, because I know you. Okay, so to. but he never used. Never, never used. So as far as I know, now as far as I know, we've never seen him, and we've never seen him act. He, we never seen him act in a way to suspect that he's even off of anything besides just okay. weed. Okay. All right. So here's what I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I. You know, I'm a little older now. Have, ask me this in my 20s, and somebody in my family talk, you know, treated me like that, or maybe my daddy wasn't around, I would probably say the same thing. But now that I'm older, you need that closure. And your younger sibling is looking to you to help them to sort through these issues of y'all daddy not being there. Y'all got to face that shit. You can't run from it. Otherwise, y'all going he going to die. And it's going to be like I shoulda, coulda, woulda. I wish I would have said it even if you didn't want to fuck with him. You at least say it to his face so he knows. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you you got it off your chest. Because you're just hurt. I got you. I got you. I think for me it's you know, circling back around of it being a full circle moment of seeing, am mm -hmm. I actually past this? Because I grew up, I, I, as you imagine, growing up fast as a black person, and then having somebody in that background with that lifestyle, you pretty much prepared for somebody to tell you that they're going any day now. So right. I think with me already having myself prepared as though he was not even here, and then growing up and, you know, being cordial and letting them know how I feel, now I think it's me just circling back around now to help my sibling do it. Right. And so you, you haven't even healed. So it's going to yeah. be hard for you to help your sibling. So that's why you got to go work that shit out yeah. before your daddy leaves. And I'm going to be, I'm, I'm, you know, I know before in the past he was probably, you know, still he probably is. still is still, a piece of shit. Is, honey. I know. But I'm telling <laughs> you, life has a way of lifing. And I'm sure you'll probably get a different outcome if you show up this time. That's what that's the that's the thing that's in the back of my mind, because from since this has happened and how he's still acting, he's still showing me that. And I don't my biggest fear is me putting my brother in a position to where he tries to meet his daddy halfway because we've always left the door open. Mm -hmm. I want to make that clear, but he's never acted. So now he's in his time of need. And I don't want to put my brother in that position of me saying, let's go do this. And then he spits back in my brother's face. That's what I'm. That's what I'm really afraid of. But at of. least your brother got closure. It would be worse if he didn't. Okay. I okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I think it's just a big brother and me wanting to be protective over his I know. feelings, I know. rather than just letting him experience the actual hurt. I, so it's like, there's no way I can avoid that hurt from him for him. You can't, and you got to go through that. You got to go through it with him and just be there for yeah. him after. And it's kind of like, you got to let him see for himself. Yeah. And know, like, I did everything that I could, but it's just not it. Or you may be surprised. I pray that, you know, your dad does have an epiphany and say, well, damn, at least I can do is just say I'm sorry. You know? Yeah. That's, and that's like, that's the bare minimum that I want to at least give him to my sibling. Mm -hmm. And but like you say, like, I, I want, I just want to be like, what example should I set? So I say, all right. You feel how you feel, then leave it. But like you said, I, I, I'm open to having him have that conversation to encouraging him. At least talk with dad or try to spend some moments or see how he'll act. Mm -hmm. I'm open to encouraging him to do that for him. But like you said, that was just my reservation of, I just don't want him to spit it back in my brother's face. Because yeah. my brother is passive aggressive. He's right. always he, been like that. And if he does, that's something that your brother had to experience. You cannot yeah. save him from that. So. Um, I think both of y'all should go and say y'all peace and make y'all peace before he does transition. I got you. I got you. Cause I don't okay. think, cause 
Because I don't think with that quarter life percent of a condition with his heart, I don't think he got any longer if he if he keep raising his pressure like he is. And you know black people. I'm not going to do this with you today, Adrian. I mean, Big Al. I called him Adrian. Damn it. I'm not going to do this with you today, Big Al. Damn it. You fine. You fine. I was not ready. I was not ready. He was I'm that quarter but, life. Like that quarter I'm life he like got left conscious. on the heart. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to change and I'm trying to elevate. But like it's I okay. said, it's the, it's if it's any the, one of his just... family come at my brother room, I'm going to cuss all their asses out. And then you do that. I... And you and you do that. I ain't okay? with none of it. You this do is that. just my brother. And but I you can't run from the problem. You can't run from the problem at all. Okay. I got you. Thank you, Tasha. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Good luck to you. All right. Cammie, where you calling from? Hey, Tasha. I'm calling from L.A. Los Shout Angeles, out to California. L.A. Okay. What's your question? So, uh, can I go? Can Do I turn my video on? Okay. So, you my question. Up. Okay. Well, Tasha, my question is Really, I got scammed, okay? Okay. By some guy who was like an artist, but I thought he was legit because he had all these cosigns from like all these different celebrities. So okay. he's like doing all this beautiful art, and I see that he's like doing a special. I send this, mom. I sent him $600, and, and at the time I was like pregnant. So I was like seven months pregnant at that time. And ah, I'm thinking. What was your baby daddy when you was pregnant? He is a truck driver. So what don't, was you doing on the this. phone with somebody else? No, no, this was on the internet. Yeah. What was you doing on the internet, on your phone, talking to somebody else if your baby daddy is a truck driver? No, I just bought a painting. It was just, you know, something that, look it, I, I'm not the one you should be worried about, Tosh. No, no. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Don't even I'm try. No, 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 no. You should be worried, Tasha. Be a truck driver. I'm, I'm pregnant. I'm at home. So, okay. Have you caught him cheating while he's a truck driver? Hell yeah. Okay, then you, you know what you got. So, but you got scammed. <laughs> I did. I did. But I mean, I. So were you buying a painting or were you buying dick? No, I was buying a painting. This guy's like gay. Uh, he's like gay. What'd that mean? Y'all know how y'all get down in LA? Oh, no, Tasha. Don't come for me, especially like that. Mm -mm. How so you gonna come you for want? me? Like what, that, okay, Tasha? so what, what, what you. Okay, so what's your question? Shit, I feel like I got a different question now. You didn't open up a can of words. <laughs> Shit, should I What's your question? Or should, or should I stay? Oh my God, Tasha. Should you leave your relationship with no, your truck I'm driver boy? I'm literally out. But I've been... I mean, I don't want him to see this, but you know. You know, truck drivers watch my show all the time. I know. Yeah. So I, I'm madly in love, actually. And with who? things are going well. My husband. Damn, Tasha, how you going? I'm trying, but she keep moving the camera. Drop Look, it down. Drop the nervous. screen down, Jasmine. Put her over okay. here. It ain't got nothing to do with you. All right, so keep the camera still. What'd you call in for? Kim. Well, I wanted to ask you about this scammer. Mm -hmm. I mean, this guy who I wasn't buying no penis. <laughs> I was legitimately, he's, his name is like I am Kadane. Or let's like, how you kid. spell it? Spell it it's real like, quick. Uh, K I D A N E. It's like K -I, I K I what? D A N E. He's like openly gay, but he sells like he paints really nice. It's not coming up. I don't know why it's not coming up. I um, am like kid K I D and then like A N E. Okay. All right. So he didn't give you the painting. No, he like, and then I ended up even like talking to him on live, right? And he's like, listen, I'm going through some things. I've been moving. And I'm like, okay, cool. So when did you order the painting? It was like a year ago. 
And he's like, I was gonna give you back. You your sure money. all you was trying to buy was a painting? Listen, I was pregnant at the time, Tasha. And when I tell you, like after this, I uh-huh. ended up having like a very late miscarriage, like at eight months. So I wasn't even really too much worried about this painting Can or whatever. Me. This artist has his penis. And he's obviously gay. So you don't know for a fact if he's gay or not? I don't, if he is, I don't even want to touch that. That's because he took your money and didn't provide his service. Listen, um. (laughs) That's gross. I can't believe you gonna do me like this, Tasha. He is all in the camera. All I see is dick. That's because he's gay. That's all Okay, he's gay, but I know how y'all get down. Damn, Tasha, how you going to do me like that? I'm not. I'm just trying to figure out. Yeah, okay, he's gay. Okay, I see it. He's I see it. Okay, so um so let somebody <laughs> Uh you I can sue him. No you can sue him in small claims court. But like that or like I have some brothers. No, so we're not going to incite violence over $600. But how do I find him? You like just figure, have... you can, it sounds like his, his, his name and everything is on the page. So you can just sue him. But like how? That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I Wherever don't have an city he's in. Oh, honey, it's been a year. Has that $600 yeah. really? Like, no, that? but it's just really the purpose of it too. But honestly, the purpose I is it. you should I never ever $600. as a pregnant woman while married, mm-hmm. Uh, be handling transactions over the internet without your husband leading those transactions. Really, Tasha? Yes. I mean, that is a big purchase. You're right. Yeah, that was a big... Anything over $250, I have to talk to my husband about. Okay, fair. And vice versa, he has to talk to me about, too. That's good. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right. Now, your husband be cheating? Yeah, he do, girl, but I... Like, okay, I haven't caught him lately, but I have caught him in the past. We've been married for 10 years, and he is from Serbia. Okay, we Serbia? Have, he's How Serbian. How the fuck did you meet a Serbian? Girl, I was on 90 Day Fiance before 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> no, I met him at work, so I was working at Hard Rock, and every summer they have, like, J1s, they call it. They come from different countries, and he mm-hmm. came from Serbia. And that's where I met him. We started <laughs> um, seeing each other. So you got him a green card? No, I did not. I'm still like, hell no. But I mean, not really like that. Like I will do for him, but it's always that over your head. Like, are they using you for the green card? I mean, we got two kids, but it's just. Did he pay all the bills? He take care of you and everything? He pay all the bills. Take okay. care of me. I don't have to worry about anything. I mean, like, most foreign I, men do. Yeah. But well, how old were you guys when you got married? So I was I was 25 and he was 32. Okay. And so he spends a lot of time on the road. Yeah, he does. And I spend okay. a lot of money. <laughs> and you spend a lot of money. Yeah. And so he's sleeping alone and, you know, he wakes up hard and you're not there. Yeah. So how about you? You have a job now? No, I'm going to school. Okay. So if how about this? Once you're done with school, you figure out a way to contribute to the household so that your husband doesn't have to slay being on the road and he can wake up and sleep with you instead of God yeah. knows who on the road. Look, I just try to take all the money so that he can't. But you right, Tasha. Bye, I'm Cammy. Gonna- Bye. I'm a mess. Thank you. Bye, Bye, mama. Okay, go ahead. Give me the next one. Who's next? Okay, Beyonce, new video. Where you calling from? Yeah. Hey, where you calling from? PA. PA, what's your name? You see what it said, Beyonce, new video, right? See, you That's might what you said. Me. Okay, bring it up here. What's your question? Bring it on up here. What's your question? Nothing. I just want to say hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you are hilarious. Thank and you. And you did it. 
Okay, all right. I thought yeah, you were gonna cut me out about talking about Beyonce. I was like, oh Lord, I'm about to get it. Let's go. Oh, no. Girl, do you? Because I'm gonna keep being on the end laughing on the other side. Okay, Thank you me. are very entertaining. You doing a job and you doing it well. What do you think? What you in? Uh, Lancaster, um, Lebanon. Okay, I'm gonna be. I know that's not too far from Philadelphia. You know, I'm doing a show in Philadelphia at the Helium Comedy Club. I hope I'm off. I'm always working. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> tell a friend. Tasha K on stage.com. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, Camilla, how you doing? Hi, how are you? Doing good. good. Where are you calling from? Minneapolis, Minnesota. <laughs> Shout out to me. You're the second person I'm calling from Minneapolis. Yeah, we got it going on up here. We may need to do a show up there. Absolutely, absolutely. We what's going on? <laughs> we wait for you. You know what? All I, right, what's your question? You know, I really don't have a question. I have a comment. Girl, you be at their knees on this on that show. And Which you, one? What you t- the way you be getting at people and, and just telling the truth about things. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. And I just, I just really, I, like I started watching you like all the time. Oh, I don't have you. a question cause I don't got no problems. I just got off work. Got, got oh, well that's off. good that you ain't got no problem. We need to hear that sometime. <laughs> it was, that life is all good. Oh, wow. And I can't believe I got, I, I can't believe. Yeah. Yeah. You got up on here. Okay. So I'm going I'm to try to announce the show in Minneapolis. Okay. Stay tuned. Okay. <laughs> Check the website TashaKOnStage.com so you can you can experience it live. It's a whole it's a whole nother really? experience. Wow, it is. But you know what? You 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 make it such an experience uh, online. So I know you really gonna kick butt. Thank yes. you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much, yeah. Camilla. Okay, yeah. we are gonna take another caller. <laughs> Shout out to Minneapolis. It's the second person I'm called in. Normally, you know how YouTube be doing this? Like we're gonna give you Texas today. Then we're gonna give you Florida. Then we're gonna give you South Carolina. That algorithm be real different. Okay. Uh persuasion. Where you calling from? You're muted. My microphone's muted. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Where you calling from? Hey, I'm calling from New York. Hi, shout out hey, to New Tasha. York. You coming to the New York show? Girl, I came to see our first show in Atlanta. Period. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Period. <laughs> but yo, honestly, what the girl said before, I I just knew I was gonna come up after her. But that was good that she had no problems. You know, like that was good. Oh <laughs> yeah. So what? You got a problem or you good too? I don't know if I got a problem. You feel What's me? Your I question? got little problems. I got little problems. <laughs> What's All right. Your so my question. Okay. Boom. Right. So you know, I have dreams, goals, plans, whatever. Yada yada yada. Okay. I'm, I'm working right now like I'm 22 I'm about to turn 23 honestly mm-hmm. I feel like saying I'm 22 is like it's so old now you know I actually feel 23 I feel like I look 23 so I feel like it's giving 23 okay but you know I feel like I just cannot not spend money like I'm there's always something I want to buy like I need to have self-control on like when not to buy things because mm-hmm. I know like I want to save my money you know I want to go mm-hmm. to dental school you know I have to pay my bills I have you know shit rent to pay all that but I just never know I just cannot just stop spending money like what do you spend money on <sighs> rent okay I just went to the mall I was supposed to go out the past weekend I went to the mall I bought a $20 dress from Forever 21 not bad right you said $20 dress Twenty dollar dress from Forever Twenty One. Okay, two that top dress. You know, cool, cool. I went to another store. I got like a sweater, and it was like thirty bucks. Cool. I bought shoes, and they were fifty dollars. Okay. And then I didn't even end up going to the concert. <laughs> I didn't even end up going. So, out. are you spending your whole check? No, not the whole check. Not the whole check. But that was like a hundred dollars that I just spent when it was like I didn't even use it, and it was like I could have saved it. It's like, okay, I, do you I have a savings? I have a savings account, but it's really nothing in there. Oh my God, she asked with that question. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I got a savings account, but, uh... account, but there's nothing really in there. You know, I just, I don't know. Like, sometimes I'm a little bit, you know. I like... mean, uh, you're 23. <laughs> yes, about to be. And you're working. Yes. Your bills different. are paid. Not all of them, but, you know, uh, payment plans. I'm on payment okay. plans, you know. But 
that's what Will you say payment plans on what? The phone? <laughs> now, my phone now my phone, uh, a little bit. But my dad pays my phone bill. A little bit of the rent, you feel know I me? Mean? Uh credit card bills, that's like, you know, past due. Whatever. That's why. Your your daddy pay a lot of your bills? No, he just pays my phone bill. Okay. You know? So and you live on your own? I do. All right. Um nobody ever okay. taught you about money? <clears throat> no. Okay. No. Do you have any hobbies besides going to work? You know, I have a pole in my apartment, but I don't have a full length mirror, what? so I don't really use it. What is a pole got to do with a hobby? That's a hobby, you know, like I could dance on it, you know, like learn how to, you know, like my name is Persuasion, you know. You so know? you a stripper? No, not at all. I work at a car dealership. I don't show my body. I don't do none of that weird shit. Like, no. Okay. Oh, I can't even. I'm not supposed to be cursing. Thank you. No, you good? You good? I was like, Lord, Jesus, you a baby. Oh, my God. No, I'm not into none of that weird stuff. But okay, I but I'm talking about a hobby, not pole dancing. No, not a hobby. Okay, really so you don't. know what you need to do? What? You need to get another job. No, my job is good. No? No, you need to get another job. You're going to keep this job. Oh. You're going to get another job. Mm. You have time on your hands, right? I do. I do. When I yeah. Come so why don't work, you get I another do job work. at another car dealership? Because car deal, I would be, it would be, it would be counterintuitive hours because uh, the car dealerships all close at the same time. You but know? you will work on your days off or get a serving job. I'm off today. Like you see how I'm home today. At, yeah. On a Wednesday, or like get a serving today. or a bartending job. I would, you know, and I was a server before, you know, yeah. but, you know, people really don't like me. Like I'm a great server. Like I'm great. I'm cool. I'm yeah. fun. But yeah. Uh, people working with me really don't like me. That's why I'm like, this job That's is fine, good. but as long as you make your money, who cares if your coworkers don't like you? Okay. It's entrepreneurship. Being a server teaches you how to be an entrepreneur. It teaches you how to manage money. And if you're spending I was money... A server. Or a bartender. If you're spending money... Would be good. And you can't stop spending money, that means you have too much time on your hand and you need to get a second job. And while you have the time and you're young, you <laughs> should do it. Okay, wait. Okay, so we're saying since we're young. Can I ask you something else? Like, you don't like to work, do you? Go ahead. I do like to work. I worked so many jobs, but I just got fired. Okay, what's, what's, up? All of them. what's up? Okay, so second question, right? Okay, boom. So yes, I am 22. And recently, me and my ex, we've been together for like four years. We just like, we broke up for real. I'm adding the quotation marks because it was for real. I actually, like, felt like the breakup was over. He's been, like, breaking up with me for, like, two years. You feel me? So now I'm finally, I finally, like, listened. And I was like, you know what? He's been telling me he don't want to be in a relationship with me for two years. All right. Okay. Like, he don't want to be with me. So I move on. So now I'm actually moving on. Why he calls me. Boom. He calls me. I, I answer because, you know, I'm not a mean girl. A few days pass. He calls me again. I answer again because I loved him, you know, not a mean girl, but I was texting this dude out in Washington, D.C., and I want to see him. You know, he's coming to New York uh, in May, like the first week of May, um, and I'm excited, you know, but now my ex is calling me two times, you know, then I So while you're going, you said you're going on a trip? The dude is coming here to New York, and then I'm going to go out there eventually, like. Okay, like, so when he comes here and you have to take off work, who's going to be covering the bills? I'm not gonna take off work. I'm off on Wednesdays and I'm off alternating Sundays. I'm not. I'm not okay, yeah, but work. that's still your time. Like, who's gonna take care? Like that, that's taking money out of your pocket. I'm How trying I'm to get it to work. where you you're making money. Any you make money while doing this. But if I'm bartending, I wouldn't be doing that. I I would be bartending. I would be. Right, because here's the thing: you shouldn't be spending your time with anybody that can't drink. You shouldn't be calling me saying your bills is on payment plans and you're entertaining men. <laughs> it's, it needs time. It needs time. No, no, it doesn't. So you think I shouldn't be like worried about dudes and like my, my money? Yeah, my like, it, yes, absolutely. You don't have to sell pussy to get them to pay your bills. You Ooh, can be in a relationship that can pay your bills. It? Absolutely. If I'm going to take it? time off from work, there's no way you're coming to sleep in my house and I'm on a payment plan for my rent. Absolutely. No. And you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? He was like, what's oh, it? he was like, take a day trip to DC. So I was looking at, I was looking at train tickets. They was like a hundred flight Why tickets. Why were you looking at train tickets? 
because I was gonna go out there, he said. No, you wasn't. You, you no, was gonna spend money, money you did not have to go entertain a nigga for I didn't a day. Go. I didn't go. I didn't go. But I saw a bus ticket. One way there was fifty dollars, and then one way back was another fifty dollars. You shouldn't I'm even be thinking that out. When I was your age, <laughs> I had flights being bought. I asked him to do. I had I cars did. being bought. I wish. I wish. No, no, you wish you do it. See, see. See what I'm talking about? Where are the grandmothers? Where's your grandmama? They're both gone. See, that's the problem. They both gone. That's the problem. They both gone. I'm, I'm and you know, I talked to my mom. Girl, I talk class. To my dad. I talk, me and my mom, we love your show. Like, my mom put me on to you when I was in college. I love her I too. Watching your live. Talk, talk to your mom. Did you talk to your mama? How you talking to me right now? I, I talked to my I talked to my dad. I talked to my No, you should talk to your you, you should talk to your mom and your dad. I, I talked to them both. My mom, I talked to her, I talked to her real life. You know, she knows, she knows what's going on. She knows. I was talking to some dude in Houston. She told me not to go out there and save my money because I didn't need to be spending my money on that. So she Thank knows. You. She knows. But I would have book I would have bought that bus ticket if I didn't buy the clothes, Tasha. And that's my problem. A bus? I, I <laughs> <laughs> Yo! It would have been a flight, but but to book it two days out, it's like five hundred dollars. I'm gonna need you to email me. <laughs> what we gonna talk about in the email, girl? I'm I'm gonna put you all to. I'm gonna tell you what your mama should have told you. Put me on. I ain't know because you're too young right now. You're too young. You, 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 I'm about to be 23. You're about to be 23. Exactly. And I'm not going to embarrass you on the stream because you're young. Aw. Okay? Thank you. Because you're young. <laughs> I, that's the only reason why I ain't tanning to your ass. Oh. What's your email? However. No, no, seriously. Seriously. Because, no, like, this is social media. I don't want you being bullied. I don't want people... Saying rude things to you. We are all grown women here. We will we all reach your age. And even the one, women that were your age and probably didn't have the luxury and they probably end up, you know, losing money, dating niggas and stuff, would, te would tell you how they wish they would have handled things. But you they have to have. think of your, listen, your lifestyle is a business. You want me to come see you? There are things that I need handled before I come see you. So I'm going to need the train ticket. I'm going to need clothes, and I'm going to need this bill taken care of because I was supposed to work. But I'm but coming to see you. Like a, but do I sound like a... Do I sound no, like you sound girls, like you I got your like... shit together and you have priorities. Men only understand instructions. True. You have to give them instructions. Hey, baby, I would love to come see you. However, this bill is due. So... Can you cover this bill and cover the uh 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 the ticket? If you cannot, we're to gonna have half. to we're gonna have to do this at a later date. I asked him to send me half, and he half. Was, I know, cause I would have did the fifty. And what he say? He was acting confused. Then there should be no more phone calls. He not my man or nothing like that. And exactly, you know, it should. That, that's the problem too. So if he was your man, it would be even worse. The fact that he he's showing you these. No, 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 no. You don't need nobody that's. You don't need no no rich man. You definitely don't need no broke man. But I what don't you need don't man. need is a nigga that won't help you. I, I know, but I figured. I figured. I figured. You know, if if you know, I'm coming out there uh, to not be one of those girls that's like asking for a handout. Fuck because... all that. Wait, wait. With that. It was the niggas that came up with that shit, didn't they? Don't be one of them girls that's always in a nigga pocket. Don't you gotta because build, the girls don't are in their pocket. And if the girls are in their pocket, pocket, what what don't you gotta build to get into a dude's no, pocket? You do I not. know the first day no, you do not. supposed to pay. No, you do not. <laughs> no, you my do ex, not. My ex spent mad money on me. My ex, but I built to that. We didn't just no, like, you, don't, you don't have to build anything. First of all, if you are a working young lady, you are not selling your body. I'm you not. are not a gold digger. A man mm -hmm. has to understand. If he wants to spend time with you, then he has to make up for what you're losing yeah. in order to spend time with you. Yeah, I would have wanted him to pay for half the ticket. It was unfortunate. But he's coming down here anyway in the beginning. So it's like, is it? And really where he going to sleep at? Um, I, I, um, you know, I have my own apartment, but I don't. Yeah, but the rent is due. The rent is behind. Is he supposed to pay my rent? Yes, now? if he want to sleep what? up in there. Yes. What? 
That's yes. crazy. He don't get to come to your house. That's not, not his house. You shouldn't even just... be letting niggas that you date anyway come to your house. They this shouldn't even the know where dude. you stay until you're in a relationship because that's unsafe. This going to be the first dude after my ex. That's no. Himself. He don't know you. That's not your boyfriend. You don't know nothing about this dude and he coming I to your house. Before. I seen him before. This is not just a random dude I met. I've, I've known him before. We met in college and then I've linked oh. up with him before. Oh so this you is the second dude. Baby. Listen. Email me and please What's put your real email? name in the in the email because if you put this on your social media and you're talking about you got stripper poles in your living room, people gonna get the wrong idea. Okay, you are an intelligent young girl. You Thank just need to be you. tweaked a little bit. Your mentality and you'll bit. be good to go. Just a, a little, little bit. bit. What's your just email? What's your email so I know? Ta unwind with Tasha K at gmail dot com. Period. I'm a puppet. I got you. AKA and then I'm put my real name. Okay. So you know it's me. All right, mama. <laughs> Email like me. Oh, I'm with Tasha K at gmail.com. Period. Like that. All right, girl. And I All can't right. see our first show like that. All right. Nope. All right. I got God. you, baby. All right. No problem. <laughs> okay. Lord Jesus, these children. Jasmine. That was very, I felt, I, I, she was triggering me for a second. Like, I'm just like, he's sleeping where? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Um. Who's next? No, we're gonna end, we're gonna finish up these and then we'll we'll do the the other readings next weekend. Okay, Tara, how you doing, Tara? How you doing? Where you calling from? Hi, I'm calling from Los Angeles. Shout out to LA. Okay, so what they doing the West Coast today? Okay, so um, what's your question? Hey, um, mm -hmm. my question is just a little advice about like my relationship. I've been dating okay. my boyfriend for a little over a year. Okay. And yeah, he recently was divorced. Not recently, but like about two, three years ago. Um, he has a child like with the previous relationship. Long story short, we made it happen in terms of trying to be together, you know, working right to the schedule. We're both working professionals. Uh, the thing is, since I moved, because I bought my house, I moved two hours away from the LA area, but I still come here to work. It seemed as if like, He's been like very distant in terms of scheduling. I I feel my heart to hearts that um he's back with the child's mother. I don't know. But it just feels very odd. Um, but we got into it over a schedule conflict. Keep in mind that I do, you know, help my mom. She's sick and I commute to work. Um, but we couldn't get together for like this schedule for like just to spend time together. And he just kind of been very distanced because I decided to wait another week to see him because the day that I was supposed to come just so happened. The child's mother has a shift that she has to work. We agreed for, for me to not be amongst the house when the child's there, even though I already met her. It's just out of respect of parenting. So it's just been very hard. He's been pushing me kind of away. And I feel very kind of like confused because, you know, you want it to work. Um, I just have never been through a break, um, especially a break that hasn't indicate, indicated like an actual break that makes sense. It's kind of like he hasn't text much after that confusion of the date meetup or whatever. I'm just kind of lost and confused in terms of would this work? And so you said it started when you moved away. I felt like that. Like once I moved uh, it's just, you know, he got a new job and everything and he, you know, now coached for the daughter's team or whatever. It's just been very hard to like get our schedules together and it shouldn't be. I feel like, um, it's very clear. I don't know. It's just, I'm a little heartbroken. I'm sorry. And I know you're going through a lot because you're taking care of your mom and stuff like that. But, um, you know, I'm gonna tell you what my, um, and this kind of saved me a lot of time with, you know, dating and things and stuff in the past. Because I asked my auntie when I was 17 years old, and rest her soul, and I said, you know, I, I, how do I know when a man really loves me? And, I, and I've said this several times on the channel. And she said when he wants to spend all of his spare time with you. All of his spare time. And to this day, mm -hmm. that advice has never failed me, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I've been married for 18 years, and... Um, even in my own relationship now, it's still that way. Like, my husband is with me. Any type of spare time that he has, he always wants to spend it with me. And so if this particular guy would like to spend his time elsewhere with other people and not you, then he's not into you. Mm. Yeah. And you decided to move away. 
you decided to put your your life first and your mom's life first and just be glad that you know this happened before the things got serious now were you dating him when he was married no not at all oh no i don't play those games i did a whole background check <laughs> okay, okay okay yeah um so and i think mm-hmm. i think you know it's just the reality of it and just thank god like you know, and most men anyway, I'm gonna be honest with you, when they come mm-hmm. out of relationships like that and they get their freedom back, like a man that's divorced and stuff, yeah, he ain't trying to get into nothing serious. So he's probably now being like he's probably happy that you moved away because he actually gets to spend time with himself now instead yeah. of being all the way devoted to a woman. Right. You know, because coming out being in a marriage is is pretty difficult. Yeah. Okay. So um, I know it's hard that you're heartbroken, but, you know, you sound young. You sound like you got your shit together. Girl, date. Mm-hmm. You know what, Tasha, what's funny is, because, you know, I'm in L.A. <laughs> yeah, but, I know how it is yeah, out there, child. I know. Yeah, it's it's crazy. And, you know, be, like being young, I was, like, you know, dating a, a lot and doing different, like, things. But after a while, you come to, mm-hmm. around 25, I got, like, you know, more mature. And it's like, okay, I just don't want to frivolously <laughs> date nobody. I want to be, like, intentional when I date. And then that kind of led me to this particular situation, very different from what I was used to coming up, kind of to himself, you know, into tech and stuff like that. I like stuff like that because I wasn't around that stuff coming up. And just because you come from a certain environment, you don't have to just be immersed with the men that you see. Um, mm-hmm. So me just breaking barriers and like being <laughs> the first to do a lot of positive things, I wanted to be around somebody that's like on the same thing. But it's just kind of unfortunate because it's just like, do I like really want to get back in a dating dating pool? But I also have the biggest fear of like, I don't want to grow old alone. You know, me taking care of my mom and seeing how that kind of play out from whatever reason she has as a woman, no judgment. Mm-hmm. It's just, I don't want that for myself. I know that love is going to come, but you know, when you, really thought you did like a good job with this one it's kind of like damn like obviously I didn't yeah and I'm gonna be honest with you the fact that he did introduce you to the child but doesn't want you around the child states Mm -hmm. that he doesn't want his child getting close to someone that he doesn't uh, have any intentions of being with Mm. yeah that makes sense I know it's the hard truth but you still young girl okay Uh, and there's plenty mm -hmm. of more men that are in tech (laughs) <laughs> okay. um that would love to date a woman that has her shit together so um it's not the end of the world for you or the end of the road at all okay and yeah. besides that that situation seems like a lot of baggage and yeah. honestly are you really ready to be a stepmother hmm. Hmm. no not really i See? i wasn't exactly yeah well, but you, you know when you're like mama? i want to yeah no uh, yeah that was, i'm gonna be honest with you that was my rule i'm like I ain't, listen i could deal with you being broke <laughs> but i ain't finna deal with no baby mamas and you being broke yeah. absolutely not it's not going down so no ma'am just consider consider you saved okay, I'll, okay? I'll think about it like that and just kind of move of it forward like that and start dating start dating open yourself up start dating now how do I do that? Like in don't LA, rules, like, like you have, you have st- standards to your dating, but like, yeah. don't try to put it, you know, just let things evolve naturally. Yeah. You know, if you find yourself wanting to spend time with somebody all the time and he want to spend time with you, don't overthink it. Just do it. Yeah. If you find somebody you want to fuck on the first date, do it. Just make sure you protect yourself. You know, do it. Yeah. Yeah. Like be you. Okay, I'm definitely going to try just to be me more and just try to just move forward the best way I can and just let things gravitate towards me. I just hate That's when you get comfortable. I just hate reopening up That's somebody. That's the problem. You got too comfortable. Yeah. yeah and that, he saw that. Damn. You can't never let him think you get comfortable like that. Nah, you don't get comfortable until you jump the broom. Yeah. Okay. Damn it. All right. All right. You're so right about that. It's all good, girl. It's all good. You let me learn. All right. Thank you, Miss Tasha. All right, Take Mama, care. Thank you. All right. Shay, where you calling from? We got t- uh, uh, Tay. How you doing, Tay? Where you calling from? Oh, can you hear me? Yep. Where you calling from? Okay. Uh, I'm in Vegas. Shout out to Vegas. Uh, What's your question? Okay. So I'm 25 and mm-hmm. I have two children. And no, I'm not with the baby daddy. Um, okay. For some very serious reasons, I just decided to just 
take care of my kids and move on with my okay. life and do what I have to do for that. my kids. All right, you handling your business. So what's the question? So my question is, um, I'm I'm young, but I'm very like put together as far as like because I have two kids and I have to make sure that like everything is. Um, you know, together for them. Mm-hmm. And I, I want to make sure that they have a, a life that maybe I didn't have and just make sure that they have a good life. Um, so for me, um, I, I I guess my question really is, is like a lot of, I live in Vegas. So a lot of the people that are girls that are here, like they're very, um, I'm from the South. So I'm very like, um, I guess what basically what I'm trying to say is like, I'm just gonna say it. I feel like the holes have messed it up for the girls that is just like very um like we just want like the basic things like just uh put together like we I don't I don't want like just like I'm I'm not like a city girl or, or nothing like that. I okay, just, so men are expecting you to put out and you don't want to put out, you have two kids and you're very responsible, you want someone who's stable. Like for me, I just feel like based off of like how everything is in the world right now mm-hmm. i worry a lot about like getting married and stuff like that and i don't know if that's something that when i look at the pool of men at this time like, i don't really think that that's well I'm i mean how, do, what, how what type of men are you dating i'm really not dating right now because of the simple fact that like like i said i have two boys so i don't want to have um my kids around anybody that's just like just anybody i want somebody that can kind of match the same things that i'm doing like i'm in school and like just just have yourself together and i just feel like the way that a lot of um like the whole culture now is just Mm kind of like it's hard for men to like know how to like approach a lady or and like treat a lady how she's supposed to be so you're blaming the hoes no no (laughs) i'm not blaming the The hoes are needed Okay. They remind men what real women are. Let hoes be hoes. And, and I get that. We need a yin and a yang. We need a bad and yeah. we need a good. When a man experiences a hoe, like Kai Sennett just experienced his first hoe. Yeah. You saw that? <laughs> yeah. It, he's learning that. a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, but I want to focus more on you because yeah. I think... You know, maybe it's the pool of men that you are, you know, seeking. Yeah, I and so that, can... that's go my ahead, thing. Go ahead. Like, go ahead. I just feel like I, I was good, really just gonna ask you, like, um, because in my head it's just kind of like maybe because I'm I'm very traditional, maybe that's uh, keeping me from being being able to get married. But I'm not gonna change like being a traditional person, like being like a tra- like a. You, you don't have to. You don't have so to. So how do I like, because I'm to myself too, so I don't, I guess I don't put myself out there. I'm not going to do like dating apps or mm-hmm. anything like that. So it's like, do you think like that, of course there are good men out there, but it's just right. very hard to see at this time. And so I'm kind of like, and, and maybe I shouldn't worry about it so much. Um, so but you like, have, um, you're, you're 25. Yeah. You have two children. You're working and going to school, correct? Yeah. You're going to have to date an older man. <laughs> okay. I get it. Yeah. First of all, a man your age really can't afford your situation. Okay? An older man would understand your situation, and he wouldn't be laying up with you. You would be over his house laying up with him. He wouldn't want to be around your children until he married you. Yeah. And I'm, you know what I'm saying? So you're just going to have to expand your dating pool. And you can't expect someone that's young. I mean, 25, you're, this is what 40-year-old women are doing. Women are waiting so late in life to have children now. You decided mm. to do it early. So, you know, it's going to be hard to get someone who's serious and wants to settle down with a woman your age with two children and take on those responsibilities. That's a lot. So yeah. you're going to have to date an older man who understands your situation. He's going to have his own house. You're going to have your own house. He's going to pay your bills. When you want to see him, you're going to go over there. He ain't going to want to be around your children. He's going to help you out. And if you do want to get married, y'all going to buy a house together. Yeah. I guess I had just uh, kind of like gave, not 
kind of like just gave up on like that whole and idea. And I'm not, that, people think when I say older man, they thinking I'm talking about 80 years. I'm, I'm talking about 40, 50. That is not old for her. Not with two children. That is not old. Go ahead. Well, yeah, I had just kind of like just gave up on the whole like thinking about getting married because like you said, like I did have my kids young and that was a decision that like, you know, I made and I, you know, I don't necessarily regret my kids, but, you know, I understand that that is a lot like having two kids or whatever and trying to build a relationship with somebody else. So I always just went to myself, like, maybe I should just wait till everything in my life is because my life is together. But like, you know, better, like have my How old are your here. children. <sighs> Tasha, they 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 three and and one. So yeah, I, and then I think about that. Like maybe I should wait till they get a little bit older. Mm, and... You should be a city girl. Just stay on protection. Just keep wear protection. But because I have two boys, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make sure that I give them an image of a kind of woman I would want them. They to They ain't be gotta too. see you fucking, <laughs> and you definitely don't bring no men around them. Right. <laughs> girl, your babies is young, and you already trying yeah. to settle down. What's wrong with the baby daddy? Uh, okay, he. He shook my youngest son, so my youngest what? son is actually, yeah, like, he caused him to have brain damage, so. I'm I, so sorry. No, I'm it's okay. So, that that was somebody I was holding on to for, like, a very long time, but after, he, you know, he did that to my son, like, of course, like, good riddance, like, you know, so. Did you press charges? Oh, he's going to jail. He's in jail right now. Um, okay. But, yeah, so. That is something like, um, so that was the person that I thought like I was going to be building a family with and whatnot. Um, but we're not, of course, that's never going to be a thing again, ever. So for me, it's like, so your I, baby has brain damage for life right now. Well, he's actually doing a whole lot better. He uh just got out of the facility um that he was in because you know he had brain damage and they had to basically nurse him back to health. Uh, he was in there for about two years. But, um, or one, one year, cause this happened to him when he was four months and he's about to be two. So, um, yeah. So for me, like, I, I, I guess like I prioritize my kids, of course, cause that's what you need to do, but I do want them to have like a, a father figure, but I'm okay with like, I've accepted the fact, like, I'm okay with just being alone for the rest of my life. If I have to like, especially after something like that happens to your kids. How, how, how old was your baby daddy? He um he was twenty he was twenty six when he when he did this. Okay, that's a lot. Uh, I would say it's probably a little too soon right now for you to be dating. Yeah, and um you know more so putting your time into your kids and when you do start dating, thirty five plus. Okay. People with okay. patience because you do have a lot of responsibility and. In no way was it was it like nigga wouldn't even be breathing. Fuck my baby. I'm gonna be honest with you. I get it. You had yeah. to put him in jail. You know. I'm just saying like that's why we gotta start waiting because these these men yeah. are not ready. They not fucking ready. Yeah. They not ready. So um, yeah, 35 plus. Your problems will be solved. <laughs> okay. Thank okay. you. No problem. All right. No problem. Thanks. All right, Shay. All right, so I'm going to take two more people, and then I'm going uh, to end it, because we got to go. We got to go. We got to do a second show, okay? So, damn, y'all ain't here thick, too. Whew, Jesus. All right, I love y'all. I know it's been a minute since I did Happy Hour. Shay, how you doing? Where you calling from? State. I mean, Ember Grove Heights, Minnesota. Okay, shout out to Minnesota. Everybody calling from Minnesota? Minneapolis, Minnesota. Okay, so what's your question? Okay, so my mom refuses to be a grandma. I got two kids. They're ten and five, and she decided to have a ki another kid. My my sister is seven now, and once my sister came, I love my sister dearly. But once my sister came into the picture, now basically my mom says I don't have time to be a grandma. I can't do it. it it's just a lot, and so I don't I don't have that. Like mom, can I? Can you? Can can the kids come over for the weekend? Can they? Can you? She don't even call to say, hey, I want the kids for the weekend. It's just grandma is not here anymore. Where your baby daddy mama at? 
she she lives in Moorhead, so she's three hours away from us. And if she was in, if she was closer to us, I know she would be my my go to. Okay. But um, she she why, she lives a couple so you, couple hours away. So, so when you say she don't want to be a grandma, are are you are you saying in reference that she don't want anything to do with your kids, or she no. just won't watch your kids? No, no, not even just that she just don't want to watch them because I would never put that on her. That's not her responsibility, not that at all. But you know, like just. He just even saying, I want to see my grandkids. I want to spend time with them because I want to. I'm bad? not expecting her to be a babysitter. Are they bad? No, they are good kids. Quiet, respectable kids, manners. But Ten when they five. get around her, how are they? The same way. She, Listen, she has my sister is seven. When they get together, they're like normal kids. They play. She will say things like they're too loud. Just hear me out, Tasha. If you're I a grandmother, I... if you're a grandmother, you would want your you would want your grandkids here and then you would ask for them, right? You would I, at least I, you... I'm a I'm probably gonna be the type of grandma to pop in with some gifts, everybody good. I'll pay for it, nanny, and I'm gonna be out. When you spend your whole life raising children, it's not, it's your time. And I, I was the seven year old baby. Was that an accident? Or was that on purpose? I, I don't want to call I, my sister an accident. But, I get but she it. Wasn't but did your planned. mama plan for but that she baby? She was not planned. No. Okay. So did your mama having to do something she don't want to do right now. She probably had plans for her life. Right. At this stage, and she got to rate what thirteen more years before anything happens. Right. I wouldn't be. I, I think you're taking it a little too serious. <laughs> okay. Just drop them off. Pull off. All right. All right. I'm, I'm taking it too serious. Got it. I'm I, I do. Uh, I'm serious. Like my mom, she, my mom all the time. I want my grandpa. I want my grandbabies. We dropped the grandbabies. What time you coming to get them? Because they ain't raised kids in a long time. I'm telling you, like these grandmamas is just different. The 70 don't days take it is too different. Serious. I promise you, don't take it too serious. But if, if I, I guarantee you, if your mama really, like, if you really, really needed your mama, she would be there. All right, Tasha, got it. <laughs> what? It sounds like you like, need a like break. You, what about you? Like, like you said, she. she what, 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 what did you say before? She, um. Where did, okay, where's your baby father at, though? I mean, he's like, in the is picture. He not he's there every day. He's with the kids. Yep. Oh, so you can get a break. So you could go out and leave the kids with him. My thing is, I want my kids to have a bond with their grandmother. I don't. I. I think that's the part you're missing. That's. That's all. I'm, uh, I'm not expecting okay, a babysitter. So they not, not bonding at all. I'm not expecting a babysitter. I'm not expecting a a a a person to say, "Hey, I need you to pick the kids up right now." I'm. I'm. All I am expecting is a grandmother to bond with her grandkids. Okay. That's it. Okay. Um. And how old is your mom? She, my mom had me young, so she's 46 now. Yeah. Okay. You may have just a look, just have a little bit, a little bit of compassion for your mom. She's been raising kids a whole life. Okay. I don't think like, like her, I, are you, you truly trying to say your mom doesn't have any relationship with your kids? I'm not saying that. I'm not saying there's no relationship there. Maybe what? I'm just maybe I'm just comparing what I see from other and I'm what I'm saying is I've had this conversation with other people and they haven't what your perspective isn't what I normally hear. What but you like hear? you said, I, I hear that. Yeah, but she, I think about it. Have you put yourself in your mom's shoes though? Seriously. I've heard that too. Put myself in her shoes and try to understand. Be more mm -hmm. understanding. Okay. Have you talked to your mom about this? Yeah, we've had this conversation and she says you're right. You're right. I, I should. I, I I need to. I could reach out more. I could do this more. I could do this more. But it's like you said, life, I guess, you know, gets in the way and she could be tired. Like all the comments are saying, she's tired. She's tired. I mean, 40. I mean, she's what, 40 something years old. She got a seven year old. She's having to do homework again, do all types of events and shit like and she really should be moving into the second phase of her life, which is being a grandmother and not having a full-time child in the house. But being that she has a full, it's just like, I'm gonna be honest with you, my friends ask me to watch their kids. I got kids in the house. I don't want no more kids in the house. I don't, I just don't. 
I get it. Think about it. If your girlfriend, if your girlfriend got three kids, she wants you to watch her kids all the time. You got two kids of your own. But that's Mentally, the thing you say all the time. That's not what I'm expecting. But in order for her to bond with them, she would need to spend time with them all the time. Your mom, I, here's all I'm gonna say is I would just give your mama just a little bit more time. She's had to raise, you know, she's got another child in the house. She's been raising kids her whole life. Maybe she just kind of wants some time to herself. It ain't got nothing to do with you. It ain't got nothing to do with her. You know, your kids, her grandbabies, it's just her. I hear you. I hear you. You and your mama got a good relationship? We got a good relationship. We speak on a normal, on a day-to-day basis, and I would say we got a good relationship. Okay. But if you really just, shit, drop them off. <laughs> That's what I would do. Mama, mama do that shit all the time. Just drop the kids off. I'm out. Mama, bye. G- good. Enjoy your grandkids. Do it. I hear you, Tasha. I'm serious. I received that. I'm going to hop off here, though, because these comments, they starting to, it's too much. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. All okay. right. All right, mama. All right, last serious. How you doing? You've been waiting a long time, brother. Yeah. How you doing, serious? I'm good. How you doing? Oh yes, doing I'm up good. Here. Yeah. Yes, you good. You good. Where you Where you calling from? I'm from Chicago. Shout out to Chi Town. Yeah, we added Chicago to the tour. So okay. you you gonna come to the show? I gotta see. Like when okay. is it? All right, go to TashaKOStage.com. I was just on there. I didn't see it on there. Yeah, we're it should have been on there. Let me check. Let me make sure. If it's not, y'all let me know. I'll get with my people about that. But yeah, we're gonna be in California this weekend in Pleasanton. But what's your okay. question? Okay, so I was trying to see was it like relationship dating night? Because everybody asking love questions. So I was like, yeah, am I on the wrong cool. episode? Whatever you Okay, so ever since I got a taste of being on TV, like every since I got back, like I I just been quitting every job I had. I've been in healthcare for like ten years, and I'm just over it at this point. Like every time I walk in there, a patient come in, black. Like, oh, my baby started coughing last. I'm like, bitch, go home and get some damn cough syrup, ho. Mm-hmm. You know, so I just be like, I quit. I quit, bitch, and mm-hmm. I just leave the job in the middle of the ship, and they be like, this motherfucker right here. And mm-hmm. I be like, oh, I don't... So I'm trying to see, like, uh, should I just keep going after that, or should I just start messing around with all the stuff? Like, I worked at a bakery before. I always wanted to do that. I'm into gardening, so I apply for a couple of garden things or whatever. So I'm just trying to see, should I just keep on going, or I don't know. You need a job. Yeah, I, like I got my business or whatever like that. That bring a little money in, you know, and I got a nice little saving so I could just chill out and just play you around just if like I want. being on camera. I do, yeah. That's why I was asking in the chat, like, oh, my God, is we going to just be on the phone call or do I get to see myself? So, like, yes, I love to be on TV, girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is it that you do, though? Like, uh, I'm a psychiatrist assistant, like, in real life, but... But when you get on TV, what do you do? I just do reality, like be myself on TV, you know, the best thing, you know, I can play some characters, but I love to be myself. So why not get a check cut for being yourself, you know? So that's what I love. <laughs> I'm glad we ended it on this note. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Listen, um, I think you should follow your dreams. I know, but it's just so hard when you don't have the upper hand and you can't control it. Like, I can't just say, put me on the next reality show that's coming up. Well, you you gotta, your, well you, things are different now. Okay. So you have to build a following and then they'll put you on TV. They no longer do it the way that they used to do it before where you go to all these auditions. They right. want people who have followers who can sell their shit. Just like when you watch all the movies now, they got all these reality stars, these actors and stuff that are coming from social media because they can push the movie to their followers. So you got to build a following and then, you know, they'll put you in shit. See, that'd be so hard. I did, did YouTube from the beginning and I'd just be sharing it and post. trying. I've been trying for 14 years. I got a little bit from Kendra show. Are you then. being consistent? Like it's it's hard to be on social media, get a job, run the business, do all that so much. I'll be it. trying to I'll be trying to post. Like I do a lot of stories pretty much, like on my Instagram. Yeah. yeah. 
I do a lot of stories like well, on my you Instagram. Need to just try out for Zeus and now that's TV. See, Zeus ain't got no auditions open. I was gonna do the Bad Boys Club. I was gonna fly well, all the way out there and TV, get my ass whooped. Newer, do now that's TV or Dosh Network. That'll get you there faster. Oh, would it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to somebody drop that in the link so now I can don't copy get it. Your and ass pay. Whoop now because you look kind of skinny. I, I yeah, I'm a call the okay. cops if you hit me, bitch. Let me stop. No, uh, okay. I'm from the streets. I can handle, but I can okay. at least get a motherfucker up off me, at least. You know, so. Well, you definitely have the personality to do it. I think you should stay on social media, find a niche, build it, and then, you know, get an agent and stuff and start getting some roles. See, like, I don't want to act like I did acting before, like Empire and all that stuff. I, I can't. All them you long get days. Some training. Acting training? Yeah. Like, I don't want to act. Well, I just okay, want to be myself for a check. So if Zeus can hire me, I definitely go on there, talk a little shit, dodge a couple of hits, you know, and keep it going. I heard the coin's good. I don't know whether to take you serious or not, but bye, serious. I love you. Oh. Bye bye, baby. I just, good luck. <laughs> How long was this show, Jasmine? Okay. All right, cool. Um, I'm so sorry, guys. We got to end it here. I know you guys were thick. And on deck, okay? Yes, he is a one-man show, Miss Blue. He he is a one-man show. He probably does need to get into comedy. Uh, he is very funny. So you said he was on Kendra's show? Okay, Tasha, he trying to get a job from you? I, I we're locked. We ain't out of money, okay? Uh, listen, <laughs> I love you guys. I cannot wait to see you in California this Sunday. We're going to be at Tommy T's in Pleasanton, California. Make sure you get your tickets. We got a few left. TashaKOnStage.com. Also, where are we going after that? Virginia Beach? Who's next? I think it's Virginia Beach, right? No? Yeah, we're in Virginia Beach next. So I think we're adding, we're for sure adding another show because that was almost sold out. Okay. So uh, I will see y'all again uh, on Friday for Fuckery Friday because we'll be doing Fuckery Friday over here. Okay. And also, um, I'll see y'all in a second because I'm going to be doing a second show on TashaKLive.com. All right. So make sure you get those subscriptions. I cannot wait to see y'all. The Liz Crokin interview will actually be out. I want to say next Monday, yep, on TashaKLive.com. And then we're going to put Clarence Freeman's final video out on TashaKLive.com. And he brought the motherfucking receipts, okay? I love you guys. And I'm going to head over right now. Thank you to everybody that called in. And again, if I don't see you on TashaKLive.com right now, I will see you Friday, okay? Now I got to go. Bye.